Good afternoon. There she is, Tanya Harding, offering a Portland connection in the crowd at this year's Golden Globes. Mm -hmm. She was looking on as Allison Janney accepted the award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in I, Tanya. Janney thanking Tanya for sharing her story. Janney very much a front runner in this year's category, but there were some real surprises from the Golden Globes last night. Dustin Morrow, a PSU film professor, is joining us as a first guest to kind of give his take on the overall Golden Globes this year. What did you think, Dustin? Um, I thought it was an entertaining, passionate show. It was about what we expected in the political climate mm -hmm. that uh, we find ourselves in, that we were going to see a lot of impassioned orating, and that's, that's what we got. You know. Did that bleed over into some surprises on the night? Um, I think the biggest surprise for me was actually what didn't win anything, which was Get Out, which has sort yeah, of been right. the, that's been the film that's been gaining momentum over the last half year, and people are talking about how this might be the first time in movie history that a low-budget horror film wins Best picture. Best picture. Well, at it's the more Oscars. than just a horror film, obviously. I mean, yeah. it was so interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, the movie that I think did surprise folks, well, and how well it did, was Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. I mean, this is crazy because they mentioned it's not really it's widely released. released. Too busy yeah, it, it's, it, it didn't get nearly as much attention as a lot of the other films that have been nominated, but it is a really good movie. It's not like it was critically panned or anything. It's a, it's a fantastic and very, very dark um, um, film like Get Out and some of the other films last night, it was probably in the wrong category. Hmm. I don't know that it's a, it's more of a dark comedy than it is a, a drama, um, but Golden Globes have a history of putting movies in the wrong <laughs> they have really category. Odd categories to begin yeah. with. Right? Well, even I, Tanya, I was like, comedy? I, that's what I thought yeah. too. Well, yeah. some people, I haven't seen it yet, but I do I understand did laugh there a lot, are <laughs> some funny moments yeah. in it. That not winning its category, I, Tanya, instead uh, the award went to Lady Bird. How did you figure that one out? Right. Well, I, Tanya picked up uh, Best Supporting Actress right. for mm -hmm. Alice and Janney, and I think that that's um, one of the real big races going into the Oscars is Laurie Metcalf in Lady Bird and Alice and Janney and I, Tanya. They're two very similar roles. They're both, they both play sort of comically dark, overly domineering moms. Um, and uh, It'll be interesting to see. They're both respected television actresses. It'll be culture. interesting to see which one of them wins on that night. The Golden Globes obviously Does went with Alice Does the Globe Janney. carry over to the Oscars? Is it usually similar wins? They, certainly people that are like handicapping the yeah. Oscars look at the Golden Globes, but they're two incredibly different voting bodies. The voting body for the Golden Globes is actually the smallest of all the awards. It, there are only 83 people mm. that oh vote for gosh. the Golden Globes. The Oscars, on the other hand, have over 7,000 voters. The largest branch of which is the actors, and so usually yep. it's the actors that deter in Hollywood that determine what's going to be best picture and best director. And now, so Dustin, on. another movie that uh, some felt got overlooked was Wind River, and I did watch that one. I didn't watch a lot of the other ones. It was a phenomenal movie. That was, yeah, I, you, your producer asked if there was one that uh -huh. I thought should is not getting the attention it deserves, and that's the movie that I would choose. I thought Wind River was Incredible. maybe the best film of the year to yeah. me, um, and I was disappointed to see, because I thought that it maybe had the opportunity to get some nominations and even some wins, but it seems to be being overlooked. Um, hmm. Is and, that a marketing problem, do it, you think? Well, it's, that's part of it. One of the interesting things about the ouster of Harvey Weinstein from the industry beyond everything else it means in terms of the Me Too movement, um, is, is that Harvey Weinstein was the, the, the biggest innovator in establishing marketing campaigns to win awards. And he had this long history, starting with Shakespeare in Love, when that mm -hmm. beat out Saving Private Ryan back right. in 99, where everybody went, <laughs> what, whoa, what? you can actually buy an Oscar. Yeah. And Harvey Weinstein was the guy that sort of started that whole thing. Interesting. Okay. When you look at the Academy Awards based on what you saw at the Golden Globes, where do you think Best Picture will end up? I don't know. I mean, before last night, I would have said that Get Out was really heavily the front runner. Now it's hard to imagine that you can't, you don't have to look at Lady Bird and, uh, and uh, Three Billboards going into the Academy Awards. I love Awards. the diversity of the films this year. I mean, you have The Greatest Showman, completely entertaining, Shape of Water, which had several yeah. nominations, but maybe got three major awards last night, I believe. Yeah, what's great too is, with the exception of Get Out, like all of these films we're talking about have f strong female leads. Francis McDormand and Three Billboards, Lady Bird, uh, Shape of Water is two female hero heroines. Um, and what's, what was disappointing maybe 
about last night above all else, and I think it was Natalie Portman or somebody pointed okay. this out, Priceless. is that there were no Line. there Line were no women directors. Male directors. Yeah. After Despite, Oprah gave that yeah. Yeah. killer speech, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to mention like Greta Gerwig, and we have to mention Dee Reeves, who made a film called Mudbound, which many people think is the best movie of the year. Um, Patty Jenkins for Wonder Woman. No woman Love has Wonder ever Woman. directed a right. film like Wonder Woman, and nobody has made one a superhero movie probably quite that good. And Dustin, what did you think of the overall tone of the night? Obviously a lot of um, talk about women's empowerment, the Time's Up movement. We saw that on a lot of uh, the tuxedos. Women were black in solidarity. solidarity. How did you feel that went? I thought the most in interesting thing was in the, the barn burning speech by Oprah, which was mm. going to go down as one of the great Absolutely. speeches in all of award show history. But what she, what she alluded to, which I think is important, is that there has to be kind of a pragmatic um, result from the Me Too movement, that it can't just be sort of like a cultural thing without there actually being on the ground real sort of truth and reconciliation sure. and like that there has to be help for people that aren't rich and famous right. and working in the movie industry right. but are also dealing with the same issues that these rich and famous people in the movie sure. industry kind of the were dealing with. that's kind of the next step with yeah. the, the legal fund yep. and all of that right. being said. Right. Dustin, thank you so much for coming today.